Welcome back. You're watching the coverage of the FIFA World Cup here on Rajya Sabha TV. Let's now go across to our correspondents standing by in different centres across the country to get a feel of what's happening there. Let's go over to Panchanan Mishra in Tirunanthapuram first. Panchanan, what's happening there? Frank, uh, we are in Tirunanthapuram and uh, at Central Stadium here, and uh, uh, we here with this uh, so many football fans and also football players. Uh, for today's match, it is the second final, England uh, versus Croatia. We will talk to. We will take very quick, quick comments uh, from the uh, football coaches. Uh, sir, what do you think about uh, today's match? It's a very. Uh, uh, it was very mature football yesterday uh, uh, between France and Belgium. What is your expectation today? I think today Croatia will win the match. This is my prediction because of the last pr previous matches. Uh, Luka Modric is uh, confidently playing the team. He is taking all the responsibilities with his shoulder. So he can dominate the team, he can lead the team. And at the end of the match, uh, Croatia will win the match. Hopefully 1-0, I predict 1-0, Croatia will win the match. 1-0 is the prediction and we will talk to some uh, other coaches. Uh, so, uh, in Kerala, there was a team, the favourite teams were uh, Brazil and Argentina only, but uh, the both teams are not here. But how the Keralites now are taking the match, uh, especially the today's uh, semi second semi-final? Uh, nowadays, uh, the young generation uh, following a lot of teams, not only Brazil and uh, Argentina. Now they are supporting Germany, uh, Croatia and also like uh, Belgium-like teams. But today, I think I am expecting, today the, actually I am like to win England, but uh, today the expertise and uh, expectation only winning Croatia. Because of their midfielders are very strong, not only uh, Luka Modric, a Rakitic like players, and also a, a good striker, M M M Madus Mondowski, like a lot of strikers, Persic, like a talented striker, is also there. So, good, uh, good health, physically, they are better than England. So, I expect in today's win, they same Croatia, but in heart, I like England. <laughs> so, Frank, uh, you just uh, okay. heard that uh, Croatia is a favourite. However, England is a most uh, experienced team. 60, uh, we will have to see that uh, uh, will England be able to repeat its 66, 1966. We have to okay. All right, uh, Panchanan, thank you for taking us through what's happening in Tiruvannathapuram. From Tiruvannathapuram, let's move on to Kolkata, where Sandeep Yash is standing by. Sandeep Yash, over to you. Things so. we have lost him. Sandeep, if you can hear me, uh, take us through what's happening in Kolkata. Okay, we seem to have a difficulty with the line there with Sandeep Yash. Let's go across to Goa now where uh, Rajat Kane is standing by. Rajat, uh, uh, nice uh, background there. I can see the beach, the sea behind you. Uh, take us through what's happening on the beaches of Goa. Absolutely, Frank. Nothing can get better than this. I'm at the Baga Beach in Goa. Lot of rain, lot of sand, lot of water, but no sun. As you can see, people are enjoying their outing. But more than this outing, we are here at St. Anthony's Shack here, which is dressed up in the football colours. And there are a lot of people who have uh, uh, been here. Possibly many of them will stay till the match begins at 11.30. But before that, enthusiasm is not waning any away. Who you think, I'll straight away come to you, who you think has a better team today? England, I think. England going to win second semi-final. And then down the road, it'll be England versus France. Right. France is my second country. France going to win the World Cup, this World Cup. Thank you. So there we have, we have an English fan here rooting for England for tonight's semi-final. I have one more guest. Uh, so what about you? I mean, your friend says England is winning this match. What about you? I think Croatia will be winning this match. England are rude a lot, so I'm with Croatia always. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping the colonial and imperialist thing aside, I mean, just talking purely of sports, why do you think Croatia has better chance to win this? Game? Because that um, uh, when Croatia played with Russia, so I saw that uh, that three goals they had made and at last. So I'm just with Croatia and I'm enjoying uh, right now. All Croatia right. will be playing its second semi-final. England hasn't played, I mean, it will be playing the fourth semi-final, I believe. Uh, this, you think that teams like England and Croatia are reaching this, this at this point, which is traditionally being dominated by the large powerhouse of football, is good for games? It doesn't matter. Lots of things happen one time, man. So Croatia will go into rock today. 
Right now, the mood in Bengal is that basically it's a city of supporters of uh, Argentina and Brazil. The mood has changed. All right, East Bengal club there. We seem to have some trouble with the connection. Let's take a look at uh, how England has prepared for this World Cup. What is the preparation as far as this match is concerned? What is the history of English football been? And what's likely to happen as far as England is concerned today? Making its 15th appearance at the World Cup, England will be hoping to advance to the finals tonight to have a chance at World Cup glory for the second time. But Croatia stand in the way of their dream of taking the World Cup home. England were not the favourites when they started this World Cup campaign, but their performances throughout the competition, and especially their win against Colombia and Sweden in the knockout phase, has changed the perception of many a football fan. They started their World Cup campaign with a 2-1 victory over Tunisia in the opening group game, before going on to record their biggest win at a World Cup, thrashing Panama 6-1 in their second. They had a chance to then finish on top of their group, but in their final group game, the English side faced a strong Belgian side and they qualified as runners-up in the group after a nil-one defeat to Belgium. In the round of 16, England overcame their penalty shootout jinx to beat Colombia 4-3 on penalties, securing a quarter-final meeting with Sweden. The quarter-final bout saw England facing a strong Swedish defence, but they overcame that challenge, winning the match 2-0 to book a place in the semi-final. England is one of the two oldest national teams in football alongside Scotland. Since first entering the tournament in 1950, England has qualified for the FIFA World Cup 15 times. In 1966, they won their first World Cup as hosts and finished fourth in the 1990 World Cup. Since first entering in 1964, England have never won the UEFA European Championship, with their best performances being semi-final appearances in 1968 and 1996. In the 2014 FIFA World Cup, England were eliminated at the group stage for the first time since 1958. Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV. Okay, that was the road uh, to the semi-finals as far as England is concerned. Let's take a look at how Croatia has prepared for this match. What has Croatia's footballing history been like? And what was their road to the semi-finals like? Croatia's run to the World Cup semi-finals may have been surprising, but the Croats have proven they are a talented bunch and have the skills to go down in history as another golden generation when they face England today. Croatia was never heralded as the favourites at this edition of the World Cup, but they have produced performances throughout the competition that have shown they had been underestimated. The Croats began their World Cup journey with a 2-0 victory over Nigeria in their opening group game and defeated South American giants Argentina 3-0 in the second match, leaving Argentina in serious danger of exiting. In their final group game, they ended Iceland's World Cup dream, defeating them 2-1 to qualify for the knockout phase with a 100% record. 
However, Croatia's knockout phase was a bit bumpy as they had to go down to the penalty shootout in both games. In the round of 16, the Croats beat Denmark 3-2 on penalties after the game ended 1-1. In their quarter-final clash with Russia, the Croats showed a different side being willing to slug it out with the Russians for 120 minutes before keeping their cool and winning the shootout 4-3 in a partisan atmosphere. I think that it will not be able to win the Croats among the four women in the world, regardless of the quality of our players, which is evident and proved. This generation has been very long because of their results. ali oni su dokazali, pokazali svoju kvalitetu i onda kad je bilo najpotrebnije upravo na ovom svjetskom prvenstvu. Za mene oni igraju dobar i atraktivan nogomet, a sad kome kome šta više paše teško je reći zato što i mi imamo svoj stil. Mislim da sigurno tekma neće krenuti da kažem tako naglo, jer velike ulogi Croatia has participated in five FIFA World Cups, including this edition. The Croatian team was formed in 1990, shortly before the nation's independence from Yugoslavia, and was recognized by both FIFA and UEFA in 1993. Shika wins! Croatia score! The team played its first competitive matches in the successful qualifying campaign for Euro 1996, making its World Cup debut in 1998, where they finished third. The team was also named FIFA's Best Mover of the Year in 1994 and 1998 and became the only team, along with Colombia, to win the award. Kumar Abhishek's report for Rajya Sabha TV. England versus Croatia, the second semi-final. We are going to build up to the second semi-final, not just now, but at 10 p.m. as well, from 10 to 11 o'clock. We have another special show lined up for you today as well. But your thoughts, Vilanjan? on England versus Croatia? Croatia needs to avoid conceding set pieces around the box, corner kicks, easier said than done. All teams from England have played, have panicked whenever they have had the set pieces, especially the corners and those free kicks. England would be fancying the chances more because Croatia have been susceptible to defending set pieces. Visible against when Russia pulled off that second goal in Injury, not injury time, in added time, added in, time. Uh, in extra time uh, in the um, quarterfinal. Uh, England's main strength for me stays the set pieces. How does Croatia defend when it comes to set pieces, Jyoti? What is their strategy going to be like, do you think? I think the first line would be not to give too many set pieces away, mm. and the second would be to dominate the midfield, something that is their strength. Uh, I think they'll be playing to their strengths today and um, hopefully if they can dominate that midfield and that is actually England's slightly, th th their Achilles tendon actually with Henderson in the midfield. So if they can dominate the midfield and uh, score early, I think uh, that's something that they'd want to do. England on the other hand will want to put pressure, they want a quick quick game because they know the Cro Croats are uh, you know, on tired legs coming off two, uh, you know, back to back, back to back <laughs> long games. So they're going to have a very high tempo game. Okay, we're going to try and go back to Sandeep Yash now and hope that that line there works with him so that we can see what uh, the guests there of the East Bengal Football Club have to say about the sec second semi final between England and Croatia. Sandeep Yash, if you can hear me, over to you. No, technology does not seem to be on our side today. We'll, uh, uh, we'll hope that, that it works at 10 p.m. But before that, uh, the coach in uh, Thirunanthapuram was talking about Luka Modric. Is Luka Modric a delight for any coach? Absolutely. Without any doubt, uh, the calibre of a Luka Modric in any team uh, is, is an extremely, extremely big asset. One of the best players of the world at the present moment. Uh, he has played well. Maybe as people may feel he has faded away a bit from the means, round of 16 and then the quarterfinal onwards. But having him in tandem with Rakitic is a big, big threat for England, which they need to thwart in the midfield itself. A quick word before I wrap up the show, uh, Jyoti, on Harry Kane. <laughs> Harry Kane, uh, he needs to continue what he's been doing. Uh, he needs to work well with Sterling and I think today is going to be a big day for you know people like uh, Jesse Lingard 
to step up from the midfield and actually deliver the ball to Harry Kane. Okay, that's the area where this game will be won or lost is what both the guests are suggesting. We'll talk more about it strategy-wise, who's going to be in the team, who's going to be out, what are both the coaches going to do for today's game. We'll talk all about that at 10 p.m. tonight. For now, it's a wrap. I'll see you again at 10 p.m. Thank you to the both of you for joining me on the program and putting things into perspective for us. See you at 10.